Hey, what up ladies and gents, your favorite Asian robot right here, hopefully a favorite Dark Tide YouTuber, and today what I'm going to do is a comparison video between the various types of recon last guns. In the past, a lot of people actually asked me if I would compare all three of them, and I didn't really have time because I was working on various builds and things, but now that things have slowed down a bit, I figured, why not? Why don't I do a comparison video on the recon last guns so you can decide for yourself which one is best for you? That being said, the Recon Last Guns are not very popular anymore because the Columnus basically outclasses all of them. That being said, let's do the comparison anyway, and I'll show you what's awesome and what's not so awesome about them. So I've rolled all the three types of Recon Last Guns, and what I've done is I've gotten the ammo, stability, and damage all over 70 for all of them. Okay, uh, There is going to be some variance in the damage. Obviously, I couldn't get them all exact, but stability over 70 should be good to go. Mobility and collateral do not affect anything because mobility is just for your dodge limits, dodge speed, dodge distance, which we will not be uh, doing here. It does not affect spread or anything like that. And collateral only affects the weapon stagger as well as the stagger versus armored targets. And since this doesn't, we're, we're not really here to measure stagger, all right, this is not going to matter very much. Okay, so. What really matters for our test is damage, stability, and ammo, and like I said, we've rolled above 70 for all three. Why don't we start with the Actran Mark 7A Recon Last Gun, alright, and then we'll compare all three of them. Now, talent-wise, I have removed any talent points for the first comparison, so that there will be no um, bleed-through of, like, let's say, one talent empowering one gun, but we're gonna do a talent-based comparison later on in the video, alright? So let's get started. First and foremost, the Mark 7A is the slow version of the Recon Last Gun. This one fires slowly and consumes two ammo per shot. Okay, it deals relatively heavy damage, but consumes more ammo per shot. Okay, so we're gonna reload this first. Now for our test, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna mark a Reaper at approximately 12 meters. Okay, and we're gonna go shoot its body. Why the body instead of the head? Because this way, you know, we deal damage over a period of time. You can also see the spread of this being hip-fired around 12 meters. And we'll start with a comparison of the hip-fire spread as well as how long it takes to kill a Reaper with body shots. Okay? Here we go. So the hip-fire spread, it, it's going all the way, like it's got a very randomized spread around the point where you're firing. And it does eventually stagger the Reaper and also goes down toward his gun. Okay, I was going to say his crotch, but he's not wearing a carapace crotch plate. So it's going down toward the gun. Um, basically, to kill a Reaper, as you've seen right there, it's going to cost you, even with some crits, approximately close to four-fifths of your magazine. Assuming your magazine's about 100, that costs around 80 bullets, okay, just to kill a Reaper. That's for the Recon Mark 7A. What about the Recon Mark 2? So if we bring up the Mark 2 now, right, which is right here, and equip the Mark 2 variant. Keep in mind that this is without talents. We have not moved a single step. Okay, Reaper at about 12 meters. If we we're firing at the body, this thing uh, also fires around the point, but it doesn't really like the the recoil is very variable around the center dot even with 70 plus stability and you're looking at roughly four-fifths of the magazine as well okay so the mark ii variant is the medium fire rate medium damage version and what you can see is that it ha the difference between this one and the mark 6d is that this one has a slightly better damage fall off so you can operate at slightly longer distances with this, but it's compensated for by the slower fire rate. All right. So this and the Mark 7 have very minimalistic differences in terms of, assuming no talents, how well they perform against a Reaper, you know, doing body shots against flak armor. Now we'll take the Vlad, all right, the Mark 6D. This is the hyper fast firing variant. Let's give it a try. Here we go. So the recoil is semi-controllable, but the damage due to the damage falloff and worse stats versus armored targets 
means that even with a full magazine, you cannot kill the Reaper, which you just saw there. It actually takes the full magazine and a little bit. So the one that deals the lowest possible damage is in fact the Mark 60. Now, in terms of their special actions, all of them are the same. Okay, they all have a torchlight attached. But when it comes to the Mark 60, this one is clearly the weakest out of the bunch. And if we go in and examine stats, all right, this will probably be shown. So stat wise, no, they don't show fall off here, do they? Darn. But stat wise, do they show any differences? I don't think they do. Oh, they do. They do. Okay. So the Mark 60 has about 80% damage modifier, right? If we go and inspect it under the attack breakdowns, you can see the armor modifiers are less. Against unarmored and infested, this one deals 59, 65, and against flak armored, 45. If we were to take a comparison with the Mark II, what you have is 81, 81, 65 for a 78% or a 78 damage modifier. Even though the primary action states that this would deal more damage, you can see that the modifiers, if you view the attack breakdown, are where the difference is shown. Now, this doesn't account for damage falloff, but the damage falloff is also slightly better with the Mark II than with the Mark VI. Okay? So this is why you end up dealing a bit more damage. And with the uh, Mark 7A, you can see that although it's consuming two ammo per shot versus the Mark II, um, in terms of the damage comparisons, you are dealing unarmored 116, 116, 107, 107 here. It, it's not exactly uh, double, so you end up, it's close to double, but not exactly double, so you end up roughly consuming the same amount of ammo with the Mark II coming out just slightly ahead, but realistically, it's not going to make that much difference in the field. Now, keep in mind that this is all without talents. So what happens if we now include talents into the build, and does this change? Okay, so let's see whether or not it changes. We're going to go for a roughly standardized build. So I'll just pretend to create a build that would... Uh, roughly suit a recon last gun so we're gonna have onslaught of course and we will have bring it down uh let's not use focus target in this one so we'll leave that empty yep precision strikes dead shot fully loaded superiority complex and we'll leave it at that of course we can get focus target later but this should be you know just pretty much fine Okay, so, so this build now is pretty much the same as you would have seen in my video with the Columnus, except that, oh, that's right, shy, sorry, I need Shock Trooper, almost forgot that I need this. Okay, so you're going to need Shock Trooper with this one so that the critical hits with last weapons consume no ammo, this is pretty much crucial. You don't have to have Precision Strikes if you don't want to in this build, uh, in fact, since we're not going to be shooting the head, you know, we probably shouldn't be using this, but we will actually included because there's going to be a headshot test later on as well okay so now that we have the basic build right let's start the comparisons from the bottom again we'll start with the mark 7a recon last gun going for full body shots okay so we'll start a body shot test first here we go now with everything included it takes eh, close to about half your magazine to down a reaper with body shots Let's do the same comparison now with the Mark II. Okay, swapping over to Mark II. And firing for effect. Okay, so the Mark II comes out once again, like I mentioned, slightly ahead. It takes slightly less than half your magazine to actually down a Reaper. So the Mark II is still outperforming the Mark 7A. Let's see if it'll outperform or be the same as the Mark 6D. The Mark 6D way underperformed without talents, but now let's see with talents. Let's see what happens. With talents, you see a drastic improvement in the Mark 6D. Slightly worse, and I'm saying just slightly here, slightly worse than the Mark II, but once you have talents in, this thing only takes about half its magazine actually outperforming um, the Mark 7A. This thing only takes about half its magazine and you can down a Reaper. All right, so that's where the difference is made. Now, we're going to start doing, we're going to use the build and do an ADS test. Okay, ADS stands for aim down sights. So let's start with the Mark 7A again. 
Okay. Now this is where precision strikes will come in for the sake of fairness. We're going to aim at the head. Uh, when it comes to precision, all right, this will have no problem staying on target. It takes about one quarter of the magazine with 7A to down a Reaper. Okay. Mark two. With relatively high stability. Going for the head. Once again, roughly about one quarter. So the performances, if you're talking about aim down sights, are much more comparable than the hip fire. If we're talking aim down sights, there isn't as much variance between the Mark II and the Mark VII. What about the Mark VI? So now let's try an aim down sights test. Here's with Mark VI. Comparable. So if we're talking just hip fire, if we're talking just hip fire, right? In conclusion, when it comes to hip fire, there is a lot of variance between all of these guns, all right? Assuming the same target. Assuming the same target when we're talking hip fire, this thing has the is mostly inaccurate, whereas the Mark 7A, while inaccurate, can be controlled. So if we were to do hip fire this, sorry. If we were to hip fire this, you can keep it controlled around the body and the point. Okay? And the Mark 2A has probably the most control and the most reasonably controlled pattern. But it does have a bit of the uh, Mark 6's jerk around. Alright, so when it comes to hip fire, the Mark 7A would be the most accurate, but the most ammo inefficient, theoretically. When we're talking about ADS, aim down sights, all of them are actually comparable. So if we're talking about aim down sights and precision control, so if we're talking precision control here, including with dead shot, you can see that uh, because all of them are relatively accurate, you won't have any trouble aiming for the head as long as you're aiming down sights. Same thing with the Mark II. Absolutely no variance here. You'll see a very good level of precision when aiming with this weapon. And again, same thing with the 7A. I mean, the crits do matter a little bit more, but as long as you're aim aiming down sights and going for headshots, all of them are actually the most comparable, which is really interesting to see. So, that brings us to the end of this test. Which recon last gun is the best? Assuming talents, assuming that you have talents, right? All of the recon last guns aiming down the sights are actually roughly the same. The only variance is the fire rate, but ammo efficiency wise, they're all roughly the same. Just matters how much you can stay on target hitting the head and, you know, how much um, you can afford to aim down sights in combat. Okay, when it comes to hip fire though, there is a drastic variance. The Mark II is by far the most efficient when it comes to hip firing. Um, and of course, it presents the same efficiency with ADS as well. So if we were to say, which recon last gun performs the best, then I'm going to have to say the Mark II is genuinely the clear winner. Some people might still prefer the Mark 6D. That's absolutely okay with you. Like I said, aiming down sights, the ammo efficiency on all of them is the same. This is despite the, the great differences that you see in their capacity to damage armor. So if we're talking you aim down sights, almost constantly during the match, then every recon last gun is pretty much the same. But if we're talking in terms of efficiency and let's say during the match you have to hip fire a lot, probably the Mark II is your best bet, which is in line with the last video I posted on a recon last gun. Like I said, the recon last guns aren't really doing great this patch, but it was really nice to do this test and sort of figure out, you know, hey, under, under similar conditions, which gun with no blessings, no perks, which gun really performs the best? And I have to say, in conclusion, now you can draw your own conclusions from this, okay, I'm not trying to force a conclusion here, but for me, what has clearly worked the best here is the Mark II. Out of all of them, the Mark II appears to be the most efficient because if you have to hip fire, it's there for you, 
relatively predictable spread, seems easy enough to wield, and when ADSing, all of them are the same. So, yeah. That's the end of my video. I hope you guys enjoy this. Let me know which recon last gun you guys like to use. Alright, thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you guys will continue to enjoy my content. Thank you once again. And here are the special thank yous and the special shout outs for the people that make all of my content so freaking awesome. Okay, starting right at the top, we have December's big wig supporters. Thank you to Michael Washington as our top tipper. Top tipper list includes Gator Guy, Leo Reinhardt, Cheryl Danville, Niesk, BVS Fang. Thank you guys so much. Top super chatter is Orin Shivs. Top super chatter list consists of Chanel Name, Ganzelope, Jonas Gustaf, Nightshade, Six Guns All. Actually, sorry, Michael Washington is also the top super chatter because he just hit 100 the other day. Um, I don't know why this list is not updated. My bad about that. But yeah, Michael's the top super chatter right now. Top channel membership gifter, Nightshade, and our top channel membership gifter list also includes Six Guns All. Thank you so much. Last but not least, let me also thank all of our top channel members that make us so awesome. Okay, starting right at the very top, we have two people at the only fan level. We've got Nisk and Bon Schwanon. Thank you guys for being only fans level. Um, thank you to the following people for being plus ultra. We've got Death Donnie 982, Arcane Silver, and Michael Washington. Thank you so much. And thank you to all of our prestige robots as well. Rapto, Jellotello, Akue, Chanel Name, Six Guns All, Yuri, Rogue Assassin, and Zack and MG. Thank you guys so much. And thank you to all of our honored robots. Okay, this list is going to get a bit long, but here you go. Kaloom, Rev Soul, Chris, Uncontrolled, Orange Shivs, Nightshade, Sleepless Night, HD Pork, Matchstick Jim, Gator Guy, Sayo, Wild Hunt, Timbo, Simple Spider, Albert, 1990, Tuan Donald Smith, Some Dummy Head, Lu Fan, The King, Curry, Link Octavian, Philip, You Know, BVS Fang, Vikram Bao, Command of Farsight, Atomica, Devin Lashin, Muki Mocha, Rena, Nathan Strong, Lady Neo, Joey Danze, Sayed Asad, Code of CMF, Kami Smitch, and Benjamin Savage. Thank you to all of you amazing honor robots. Thank you to all of our cool and weird bots as well. I will see you guys on the next video. Y'all have a good one. Catch you tomorrow.